Okay, so welcome back. Uh, today we're going to take a look at adding some a score feature to our game. So if we go back in here, we've got our uh, end game panel set up. I'm just going to uh, inactivate this really quickly here. And I'm going to put a score. And I'm going to have that score kind of show down here in the lower right hand corner. You can have your score be wherever you want it to be, but um, it's kind of the reason that we've got this ground here so that we can kind of cover up some uh, features of our UI. So if I go to my canvas here, I'm going to right click it, choose UI, text, and I've got this new text that's added way up here. I want it to be down here and smaller. So I'm just going to pop it down here and make it nice and small. I'm also going to move the anchors so that they're around this box. This isn't the final size of the box, but it's getting there. So I'm going to change this to the name in the hierarchy from text to score. And I'm going to change the text as well, score. And I'm also going to change the color. It's really hard to see it as washed out gray. So I'm going to make it uh, pure black. And that pops better. Um, so I'm going to make this box smaller so I can actually fit the score next to it. This one isn't going to change size at all, so I can just kind of leave it like that. And one more thing, let's center justify it. All right, cool. Now, let's take this text object and duplicate it. And I'm going to move this over to the side. And this is going to be the actual score number. So I'll move these anchors over like that. I'll change this from saying score to just showing four zeros. Uh, I'm also going to change it from being called score to score number. So I know which one is the label and which one is the actual number. Okay, so now there's a bunch of different ways that you can score a game like this. Um, BB Tan keeps track of its score based on how many times the, you were able to have the blocks move down. We can do that. That's really easy. We can just have it transfer over the level from the game manager. However, that leaves your user feeling like they've got this super low score, which can be a good and a bad thing. Um, that means that if they end up getting a high score, they feel super accomplished because they know how difficult it is to get a high score. However, um, some users can get discouraged by that. We could make the score be how many bricks they've destroyed, uh, in which case the number is going to be bigger, but they'll still have a feeling of accomplishment. You could also make the score be how many times a ball has struck a brick not destroyed a brick, which would make the score even bigger. Um, so, I mean, it's kind of up to you which one you want it to be. I'm going to create a new script here. I'm going to call it score manager. I'm going to go with how many times the bricks have been destroyed. So my new script here, I'm going to call score manager. Uh, no spaces between that when you're creating the name of the script. Remember that. If you do put a space in here, um, it won't put a space here. And then you'll have this error that says that there's a mismatch between the names. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go into my score manager here. Uh, because this is using part of the UI, it's using that text, I'm going to add a using tag to it. So using unityengine.ui. Whenever you're using part of the UI with the script, you need to make sure you add that using tag, at least for now. Maybe later on they'll bake it into the system. Okay, so I need to know what the score number is. So I'm going to do public text. And if you don't see text come up like this auto-completing, it's because you forgot that using unityengine.ui tag. And I'm going to call this score number. Um, I don't have to finish this reference and start because I'm making it public, so I'm going to finish it in the editor. Uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to say public int score, which is the current score. Now, actually, I'm going to public int current score, and I'll set it to zero to start. Okay, cool. Now, I'm going to have a couple different methods here. Actually, just one. And we'll call this, um, we'll make this public so we can access it from another script, which we're going to need to. I'm going to call this public void increase score. And all I'm going to do in this method is I'm going to take the score from what it was and add one to it. So I'm going to do score plus equals 1. Plus equals is a shorthand in C-sharp that takes the previous score 
and then add something to it to make it equal to something else. You can also do minus equals. Uh, I could also just do plus plus, which automatically only adds one to it. It uh, doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so now my update here. I'm going to have my update constantly be changing the score number to be whatever the score is. So I'm going to say score number dot text is equal to and whenever you're changing text like this it always needs to be a string. So I'm going to open it with um, open quotations, close quotations which makes it so it's a string and then I'm going to add to that string whatever the score is. If you just have it be score without those open close quotations at the beginning you'll get an error because you're setting the text to something other than a string. Uh, okay, so I'm going to save this really quickly. I'm going to pop back into Unity. And I'm going to add this to the Game Manager object. So in my Game Manager object, I've got my Game Manager script. I've got my Extra Ball Manager. And now I'm going to have my Score Manager. Now, it needs to know what the score number is, the text. So I'll grab that score number here. And, yeah, okay. Looked like it wasn't going to do it, but it did. Now, just to make sure that this is working, it, the score won't be able to go up at all, but what will happen is it'll change from being four zeros when I hit play to just being one zero. If I hit play right now, uh, there we go, one zero. Now, this is super tiny, and the reason it's super tiny is I forgot to hit best fit when I made those two boxes. So let's do that right now. So best fit and best fit. And that best fit doesn't make a big difference on the screen that we're currently on but on the screen that we were playing on, which has more resolution, uh, it changes how well it fits. See? So score is zero. Now from here, this is where you can make a decision as to how you want the score to increase. I'm gonna go into my Brick Health Manager script. And in my Brick Health Manager, I'm gonna make a reference to the score manager. So I'm gonna do private score manager, and I'm just gonna call it score. I'm going to complete that reference in the start method because it's private. So I'm going to do score manager. Right, nope, sorry, score is equal to find object of type score manager. Okay, cool. So now if I jump down here, I want it to be when the bricks are being destroyed, not when they're taking damage. So that means that I need to do it here where the brick health is less than zero. If you want it to be every time the brick takes damage, then you need to do it here. Uh, take damage one, and then also add uh, score manager uh, dot increase score. I want it to be when the bricks go away. So I'm gonna do, before I set the game object false, because once you set the game object false, you can't increase your score because the game object's false, or isn't active. I'm gonna do uh, score dot increase score open close parentheses, and there we go. So now, my score is gonna increase every time one of the bricks goes away. If you wanted to make it so that it's the level, like each time the bricks move down, so it's exactly like BB10, uh, then you could just have the score manager here have a reference to the game manager, and then in the update, right before this, you could say that score no, or score is equal to game manager.level. Um, okay, so I'm gonna pop back into Unity here. It's going to think for a second, and then I'm going to hit play. All right, so now if I fire off, ta-da, my score increased. And it's only going to increase when I actually destroy the bricks. So there we go. I think this is kind of a more fair way of scoring things because it allows the user to think that they're doing better. Um, BB10 ends up having these notoriously low scores, which is fine. I mean, Flappy Bird did the same thing, so maybe that's what you want, but probably not. Okay, cool. Well, um, thank you very much. Have a great day.